In this video, I'll show you how to get started making interactive presentations using Pear Deck for Google Slides. Don't forget that you can pause and rewind this video as you follow along. To get started, head over to PearDeck.com and click Sign Up for Free. Then just follow the prompts to create your account. Once you have your free account set up, open a presentation in Google Slides. Now come up here to Extensions, select Add-ons, and then Get Add-ons. If you don't see Pear Deck, you can always search for it. And once you find it, go ahead and click on it. Click Install, and follow the prompts to install the add-on. When it's finished installing, you can close any windows to return to your presentation. To access your new add-on, come up here to Extensions. Then we'll select Pear Deck and click Open Pear Deck Add-on. So I just have some regular Google Slides that I'd like to add interactive questions to. I'll just come over here where it says ask students a question and select the type of question I want to add. For this slide, I want students to be able to type their answers, so I'll click on text. Wait a few seconds for the magic to happen, and now my question's been added. Just make sure you don't remove this bar from the bottom of your slide. Now let's go to the next slide, and this time I'll add a multiple choice question by coming over here and clicking Choice. I'm going to enter my choices. And I'll click the X to delete Choice C since I only need two choices. And click Update Slide. Now let's move to the next slide. And this time I want students to type in a number as their answer. So I'll come over here and click number. Draw and draggable question types are only available to premium users, so I'll skip those in this video. You can continue to add questions now or come back to this presentation at any time to make changes. One last thing before we look at how to use your slides, come over here and click the three lines You can change whether or not you want students to sign in by toggling this button on or off. With our presentation set up, let's come over here again, and this time we'll click Start Lesson. Now you'll choose if you want the lesson to be student-paced or instructor-paced. I want to use this synchronously, so I'm going to click Instructor-Paced. This screen pops up so you can display it to share the link and code with your students. The link will always be the same, but the code changes each time you start a lesson. So let's take a look at this from a student's perspective. I'll head over to join.pd.com and now I'll enter the lesson's code. If sign-in is required, you'll have to sign in. You can do that with a Google or Microsoft account. And I'm feeling pretty good, so I'll click here. As the teacher, I can see how many students have joined. And I'll click Start Class when ready. Back here in Student View, I have a full view of the slide along with a place to respond to the question. It's worth noting that students can't move to the next slide on their own in an instructor-paced lesson. So as a student, I'm gonna go ahead and enter my answer here. And as the student types, the teacher can see that someone at least started to answer the question. And teachers can click Show Responses to view student responses as they come in. Now as the teacher, I'm going to move us to the next slide. And I'll click on Responses as we wait for students.
As students select answers, they'll be tabulated here. Now let's say as a teacher, I just decided I'd like to add a follow-up question. So I'll come down here and click New Prompt. I'm going to choose a text response as I ask students to explain their answers. And just like that, the prompt pops up so students can respond. Let's go to the next slide for one more type of question. I'll click on responses so we can see them come in. And as you can see here, the distribution of numerical responses are plotted out as students respond. So let's move to the last slide to show the answer. With no slides left, I'm going to end the session. And I can give the session a name here in case I want to go back and look at the responses on the Pear Deck website. And that covers the basics for getting started with Pear Deck for Google Slides. Thanks for watching.